In this episode, we leave Ruby Falls at Red Cone Creek and head to the epic Horizontal Falls. We're just going to have to change course. We've got some whales in front of us. We just noticed there might be another mother and calf feeding. Not sure. But they're just there. Yep. Three of them. Jeez, they're big. How beautiful is that? So mum and calf are just feeding, they're just laying on the surface. We have got 3.6 knots of wind, 1.8 speed over ground, and we've got a warning sign saying so we're going too slow. And we're getting to the stage we're going to put the engines on. It's just too too slow. We just I think we're drifting more than we're sailing. They're doing a bit. Before it was going to take us two hours to get there. Now it's going to take us five. We're just heading to the horizontal falls today. Um, we're not going to make it all that way because it's a bit too far and the current's against us. Um, but we're just cutting through between Kingfisher Island and Melomies Island, Melomies Island. Um, and it really comes up rapidly here. So we're coming up from 40, 50 metres out further. And she's coming up to, at low water, one and a half metres, we've got a 10 metre tide. So. It's just starting to flow at us now. Yep, tides just turn and come straight at us, right here. We had tide with us until we hit this. And it's only nine metres now. We're heading into Horizontal Falls, which we're excited about because this is one of our bucket lists. And it's dead flat. Not much wind, motors are going. So it's just stunning. It's day 127 and we're now entering in towards the horizontal falls. So it looks pretty straightforward, but the looks like the main channel goes through a purling list, so we're not sure where we're meant to go. But luckily for us, up in front, we have a charter boat coming in, so we're able to plot his course on the plotter and track him through. So we can see where the channel goes, but when we get down to Slug Island, the deeper channel is this side, and that's all the purling list, so we think we have to go that side, but um, we'll just be able to follow this guy in now. So what I'm doing is I'm just uh, making sure I plot his plot so I can make sure I keep a track of where he's going so we'll just follow him in but he's going a lot faster than us he's doing 10 knots and we're only doing 6.7 even with uh, two and a half knots of current assisting us four knots four knots of current that cruise boat came through, if he was close, much closer to the shore, if they was going on the Dugong Bay, maybe that's why. Okay, well I was, I've been following his course up until now, now we're winging it. It's a bit messy here. We've got um, four knots of current assisting us, going in this direction, 
but we have got the wind coming this way so against us so it's creating a very sloppy bit of water This is giving us an introduction to what we've got going down the west coast. Not wind on tide like this. No, but waves. Not the wind on tide, just the waves standing up. We're almost into the horizontal falls. We're just clearing Slug Island on our port, or left, and we're a bit wary about the charts. My charts are telling me I'm only in a few metres of depth. Um, but I've got 21 under kill, so we're in 22 and a half metres of water. So we're worried because the charts say pill farm. And big cost if we get caught in pill farm to cause damage. So just be very careful and I'm just scouting around all the time looking. Radar on trying to protect the floats um, and keeping a lookout with binoculars. So we get back out and check again. So we're in 24 metres under kill at the moment um, from out of the gauge, which you can't see, but I've got split screen mode. So this screen, I've got my radar overlay, so I'm detecting some waves and things over this side, but I'm not seeing any um, floats down along the marker line there. So in this one, I've got the sonar chart showing me my depth, um, but I'm also logging our depth as we're going through. So low water there, 18.5, lowest astronomical tide. So it's certainly deeper than it says. That line there is four and a half metres and 18.7 under kill, 18 under kill, so 19 and a half metres. Very inaccurate charts through here, which is surprising given the number of people that come in. So that was Slug Island. And just up there, up there is the horizontal falls. So, truly iconic mark, we're almost here. It's just a long skinny strip of land. It's a slug. It is a slug, it looks like a slug. You look at it. So are you excited? We'll be anchored by the runway. before the storm. Yes. Look at the truck, look at that yeah, there. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Maybe we should just sit there in and turn the engine on. <laughs> You're coming at us rather quickly. It's amazing how hard you're going to go against it. Thirty-one. No wonder we're ripped yeah. three. I thought it was high tide. Obviously, it's not. Well, it might be, but this takes longer to catch up because this takes longer fuel. Well, oh, so we'd be okay to do that next one. Yeah, yeah, we go through the next one. Be good time now, like not too big. Oh, Jesus! Ian, it'll get um, more of a 
Holy crap. The closer we get, last That's summer. now. Let's not do that. You Karen's not looking. I know. <laughs> She's shitting herself. Amazing. Isn't that great? Take one of you. Holy crap. Don't get too Jesus. close. Jesus. It'll suck you. Don't go back. Jeez. Oh, we... Yeah, but you don't want to stall it, Christopher. Coming in. Jesus. Obviously, this is lower than out there. That is way lower than here. Can I get that water? I'll just have to take a photo. Holy crap, that's a bit scary when you think about how much water's going through that. You want to go through, Chris? No. I reckon it would have made that. No! <laughs> the horizontal falls occur after water backs up behind the McClarty Ranges during each six hourly change of tide, which can reach up to 13 metres or 42 feet. The first seaward gap is about 20 metres, 70 feet in width, while the second is only 10 metres, or about 30 feet wide. The fast moving tidal current squeezes through the two narrow gorges, which rushes through at a rate of up to 30 knots. Look at this! They come out of there pretty quick, don't they? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so we just off this morning to do the tour of the horizontal falls. So we're sneaking up the other boats now, and we'll be hitting the cross for our right.
Unbelievable! Yeah. Okay, look here. Look how big they are. Look at that big one up there. Yeah. The one just came behind me, big one. Look at that one! Wow, he's only starting. That's right, a look serious current. Oh, that Whoa! Hey, put that one in. Look at this oh, one, Joey! Oh, look at that one. That's huge. <laughs> My motor went through it and kept it. Look at the size of that! Look at that one there! Oh, Joey! <laughs> yeah, can't pull you down. Look at that! <laughs> it's a washing machine. It's in the spin cycle. This is pretty cool. It's amazing. This is like a big tube without having to get wet. <laughs> and it's got a motor, so we don't even have to worry about... We can correct things and we don't have to pedal. Yeah. And around we go. We're in a whirlpool. We're in a whirlpool. Oh, good one too. Look at that. Yeah. That was pretty funny. <laughs> and it just stopped to go forward. I oh, know, the right direction. No Here one. another one. Here we go. We're off. Yeah. <laughs> My stomach turn. Bloody hell. Look oh, that one there. That is flying there. Got it. Oh, oh. Big one, Andres? Yep. You plugged it? Yep. Do you get a bit dizzy? I'm just wondering, do we always spin this way? Is this the way water goes down the drain? I think it is. Yeah, stop where you get that. Oh good, because I've um Getting in? Getting a bit dizzy. <laughs> okay. We're just heading into Dugon Bay. The current's flowing quite fast again. Yeah, and it's really it's quite deep. Yeah. It's quite deep. A lot of current running through here. Yeah, that's why I thought I'd come over this way a bit more and sound a bit more this side to make for sure. But no, still 27 metres on the hill. Okay, that's good. Just slight bit of water, but it's not running, running. I don't see a rock hole. This is water pop up here, but how they get up there? This I'm not awesome. climbing up that one, no. Uh, That's bloody got challenge written all over it. 
Or is that a rock hole that first bit just up there? Uh, it could be just in that section I'd up there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And you should be able to climb to that. <laughs> Watch your heads. It's wet. There's no crops in it. Well, you, hey Chris, you're not going there no matter what. Ooh. That is all the water in this big hole. <laughs> I don't think there's any water though. Looks a bit dry. Oh, this is, this is just like Crocodile Central. <laughs> oh, look at the eagle things there. What? The eagles oh, in the cliff. Oh, uh, you better hit rock, Chris. Up to the first ledge or not? Quick scout. You just about to hit rock. Joanne's bailed on us. She's not coming up here. Geez, you're grabbing on a burnt wood. A little bit of a trickle happening. It might be coming from behind us after all this, you know. Far out, what a big ripped out hole that is. Yeah, I think we need to. We've come this far, but uh, it might be death. I think go right across into the rubble. Up that stuff. Ah, oh, green ants, I don't play with them. Up here. And across. So they're just going out through there at the moment, you can see. Just getting through there. It's only the two boys. It's gone from six down to two. <laughs> it's got a cliffhanger. All right, now it's easy. It's crystal clear. Cheapest. <laughs> Uh, we did find it. Yeah. Right up the top and Joe's sitting down at the boat. But in the water, I don't know if you can see it. About there. There's a croc that's come to the surface. A couple of metres at least. Long way up, he's probably two and a half, maybe a bit more. You found something? Looks beautiful. Okay. Yeah, water's flowing down. That's a nice little deep hole down there. Swim. I don't care if there's another hole up there. Swim this deep. one's calling. Let's get down there. That one looks like a good launch pad. Ooh. That was a very keen swim to get up here. Oh, I mean, oh, it's bloody cold. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> it is. We found it. Duran should have come. She missed out. Oh. Oh, There's nothing wrong with this pool. We should have just stopped at this level. Yeah. Instead we went all the way. We went all the way up there, another couple hundred meters up, and there was nothing up there. Well, it was all right, but this is better. Mm.